Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Mexical here, another episode of Command and Conquer General Shockwave. We're going through all the generals, and by that shouldn't be really a surprise if you've seen me play my zero hour stuff, but this is Shockwave. This is completely new, different stuff. There's new generals, new weapons, new tools, new tech, new supers. Every, everything is different. It's like a brand new game, like you've played it your whole life, but now it's different. Like, I'm not really too sure how else to explain it, but it's new and it feels right. And I think this is one of my favorite mods. I've tried I've tried uh, to get Contra working, and I haven't been able to. But I have tried a few of the others, and this is maybe one of my favorites so far. Um, I've played it. This is like my fifth or sixth mission, but I've done a lot of reading on the wiki to see how it all functions. And like I said before, it's like you played Super Mario, let's say, for like a decade. Like, you never heard of the second one. And then they came out with the second one, and you're like, all right, I see where they were going with this. And then they came out with Super Mario Brothers 3 or whatever, and you're like, holy crap. It's like, I get it. It's Mario, it's Luigi. You're saving the princess. Toadstool's somewhere in there, kind of no one cares. But I get it. It's like the next, it feels right. And this almost feels to me like it's the perfect add-on. Like, like Command and Conquer. When Command and Conquer originally came out, and it came out with Red Alert, like Westwood Studios didn't know whether to make that an add-on to Command and Conquer or a whole different game itself. And they finally decided to make it its own game, and I'm really glad they did. But this is one of those that it just really feels like perfect. Anyway, sorry, I could gas on about games and RTSs and all that crap all day. So here's the deal. I'm going through and I'm trying to go through all the generals as if I've never played them before. And sometimes it is like I haven't played them before because with all the new stuff that's been added. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go through... Uh, we already went with the armor general. I already released that video. I just recorded the laser general. And are there other great CNC zero hour mods? Yes, Contra. And I believe there's the reds. Um, I can't remember the name of that one. Um, oh, by the way, I'm also doing this as a live broadcast. So if you're seeing me trying to just jut around with ideas, thoughts, and what I'm trying to say, it's because I'm also trying to answer questions that are going on as well. So I'll try to say what the question is, and then the answer is if, is if I'm talking to an auditorium of people, and you might not have heard the question. Um, there's actually a website, can't think of it right now, I think it's ModsDB or something, and it's got a list of every mod that was made for Zero Hour with instructions on how to install, and hopefully if they did a good job, there's also a wiki on how to use it, how to install it, that sort of a thing. So, anyway, uh, we're going to go US, USA, USA Air Force General. Blech. Excuse me, I can't even talk, I just hiccup trying to say all that. So... Uh, we did Armor General, recorded, posted, I just did Laser General, recorded, broadcasted, and now we're doing the Air Force General. Um, I know how to play the Air Force General, but again, new tools, new weapons, new planes, not really too sure what's the best way to do it. So take this all as a grain of salt, we're just having some fun here. I am not a pro at any stretch. General yeah. Granger. On the job. What do we have here? Tornado drops a cluster bomb, spy drone, pilot training. Yeah, I want pilot training. All planes will be built as veterans. Yeah, guess what 90% of my war effort is going to be? Freaking airplanes! Now, what I've done with some of my other videos when it comes to quick strike tactics, it's supply deep, or supply drop or whatever. What is it called? Supply center. And then you get an airport up immediately, you get some Comanches, and you send them as soon as possible. What that does is it puts the enemy at a very heavy disadvantage, assuming they're like United States or China. For every dozer you blow up, that's a lot of money coming out of their pocketbook that they have to replace or you've at least slowed down their construction. I'm going to take this a little bit slower. We're going to play this a little turtle style. Uh, and this, and just up there please, and we're going to move you up immediately. Bring on the scaffolding. What's the mission, sir? Realistically, yeah. Like, like I said, realistically, these are mostly going to be turtle sir? videos. Um, because I want to learn what the heck is going on, and I also don't want to lose. It could be a really grave mistake if I just rush in. Uh, no. There we go. Thank you. Right there, please. This. What do we have? Advanced Patriot and Firebase. Okay, Advanced Patriot sounds awesome. Let's get in there. 
This is going to be a quick answer to anything they're going to throw at us. We have the missile launchers to take care of the air. We've got the advanced Patriot that's going to take care of also air, heavy ground units as well. I don't expect a huge resistance this quick, or a huge assault for that matter, but I don't want to be left unguarded. Hello, Mouse. Let's go capture some buildings. Uh, question is, will you play USA China and GLA or just USA then go to another mod? I really want to experiment with this mod a lot. Um, at least for tonight, we're going to go through all of the United States. I'd at least like to. They're the, they're the faction I'm most comfortable with. Not to say that we, you know, not to say that I'm not good with the other ones, but I don't have a ton of time tonight for this broadcast, but I'd at least like to go through and kick those guys around. And then what we'll do is we'll do another broadcast session, or I'll simply record the other ones. But I do want to make sure that we highlight every single faction. Every faction deserves a little bit of limelight. Absolutely. Okay, Advanced Patriot. Even if I'm not expanding super quickly, and I'm not, I might not even take that supply depot over there, I at least want to make sure that we provide some interference and we don't give them all the benefit of the doubt. So who are you up against? Looks like straight China. Okay, we have some solid defenses here. I don't think they'll be able to get a lot through. Please capture. Uh, okay, MIGs, that's interesting. I think we just have to keep the unit well, or the structure well repaired. And we should be able to take out a lot of those MIGs. I need you to retreat. Yeah, I need you to retreat. No problem. Those advanced Patriots seem to be doing a pretty good job. Uh, what I need is another dozer. Really, I just want to get my outsides covered. Like, I want the extremities covered so I'm not going to get surprise attacked. And then what I'd really like to do is start to build units individually. Learn all what I have at my disposal. Okay, move, move, move. Stop. Stop! No, I didn't, I didn't want what just happened. Now go back and repair it. We're just machine gunning through their units. This is beautiful. Yeah, sounds good. Let's get another power plant there. I need you up here. We need a fire base and a couple of Patriots would be super. Uh, okay, I haven't even looked at any of that. I really hope the Air Force General has my favorite power, which is A-10s. I'd be very sad if they didn't. What is hitting me? What are those? Mortars? Siege soldiers. She soldiers. Okay. Okay, we're getting outranged. The answer to that is an airport. What's the story? Let's get to work. Good area. Let's see. Nope. Run. Run, 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 run. The important thing about being a general is understanding diminishing returns. I could repair that structure and keep it healthy for a few more hits, but the problem is I'll eventually lose it. And more importantly, I'll eventually lose the dozer, which will completely restrict any of my support capabilities. Uh, carpet bomb, yes. A-10 strike, yes. Halo drop, good. Spectre gunship, we're all familiar with, great. A-10s all the way, fantastic. Uh, you guys, in there. Advanced Patriot. Advanced Patriot. How's that airport coming? Ah, oh, dang it! That's the that's the thing I didn't want to happen. I feel really stupid doing that, but let's see what we can do with this. The A10 should be arriving pretty quick. Okay, I need that structure. Nope, nope, nope. Sometimes my mouse just goes a little berserk with this game. I don't know why. Okay, took out their airport. Perfect. Now, my infantry should have no problem defending this little avenue. Okay, Air Force. What do we have? King Raptor, standard. Hypersonic Aurora Bomber. Aurora Bomber. <laughs> Tornado Bomber, which requires a general promotion. Stealth Fighter, and King Comanche. Let's go with some King Raptors. 
I want countermeasure. I guess I could countermeasures for free. Laser missiles, aircraft ammo, rocket pods I don't care about. Yeah, we'll worry about that all a little bit later. Um, yeah, not too bad. I think they have a little more of a punch. These advanced Patriot systems have a little bit more of a punch than their standard brethren from General Zero Hour. Okay, those King Raptors aren't going to be great against moving infantry, but they'll be still good against infantry. Let's go ahead and get some of our key structures online. I don't want to fall back in terms of tech. But we seem to be doing pretty alright in terms of defense. In the skies, boys. Let's come back here. If they just move in with a crap ton of... Over here, boys. <laughs> if they just move in with a crap ton of Gatling tanks, that's going to put me in a really bad position. Let's see what you guys can do. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> eight missiles against a tank was a little overkill, but... You know what they say, there's no kill like overkill. I always like having my aircraft in the sky. One thing that's always a pain is if you need your aircraft immediately, like yesterday. The big problem is they've got to get ready, they have to get off the ground, supply lines, drone armors, that's fairly cheap, chem suits, why not? Let's do a little knowledge here. Aircraft, I don't see any plans for a super. I don't even know what the Chinese super weapon is. I mean, traditionally it's the nuke. Oh, helipad. Oh, that's new. Oh, and it's small, too. I like that. Oh, if I can build Comanches out of that, that's a much smaller footprint. I like that a lot. That's still doing crap tons of research. Do a little cleanup here. Get you guys repositioned a bunch. Let's get that there. Okay, let's get our super weapon online, the Puck. Particle uplink cannon. How much power do I even have? Uh, good amounts, but let's get... Oh, hey! I didn't even notice this thing. <laughs> I'm so engrossed in trying to figure out how to play the game again that don't I don't even check the map. Okay, what do you have? Comanches? That's awesome. That's awesome right there. Uh, Al Acolyte drone... Flying drone armed with a high caliber machine gun. I could really see that as an early game an early game mechanic. Absolutely. That could be awesome. You get a swarm of maybe a dozen, rush those things in, that could be great. Now I know I'm just spamming defenses like crazy. Again, point of the matter is I just want to make sure my base is intact before I really start experimenting with units going on the assault. Make some improvement. And the, the biggest bane of any aircraft commander or the United States Air Force General is how frail your airports are. I can't tell you how frustrated I get to have just like an artillery barrage wreck my planes, which costs, if I get the Aurora bombers, a lot of money. I'll do the math for you. It's a lot of money. And then on top of that, to lose the airport on top of that, just so frustrating. So... I always make sure I have at least one extra airport to make sure I don't lose the very valuable aircraft. Let's make sure that we don't lose the cutting edge. Now, I know I'm kind of building stuff a little foolishly, like on top of itself, but the thing is I'm not super worried about the AI. If this was a human, different story completely. They do good damage. And with the extra ammo upgrade, that's pretty brilliant. Okay, I don't want to get anywhere near their Gatlings, so let's not make this a real big deal. Supply drop, yes sir. Supply drop, what are you going to drop? What is that? Is that a tank? Is that a tank? What is... What the heck is this thing? Stop. Okay, stop moving. A Sheridan. Oh, it's a tank. Launch anti-tank rocket. Uh, the Air Force General isn't supposed to get tanks, right? Hmm, 
Okay. Um, okay, China gets nuclear missile. Fantastic. You know, I didn't even build a war factory to experiment what I get. Oh, I thought that was going to happen. So let's see here. Let's really start mixing some of this stuff up. Hypersonic Aurora Bombers. Uh, stealth Fighter. Yeah, absolutely. Let's use this structure because not building anything to get all the other upgrades. Yeah. Thank goodness, back online. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, lose track of what's going on for a second in this game, and somebody dies. Uh, okay. Don't know how to deal with that, so I'm just going to bomb the crap out of everything. They should be able to take care of that, no problem. Oh my god, that was perfect. I got both of them. Special forces here. Okay, let's see what our A-10s do. Expert. Expert, expert, expert timing. That was brilliant. That was brilliant on toast and jam. See? Oh. See figure 1.2, where I just mentioned how I hate artillery barrages on my freaking stuff. That's it. That's it. You know what? You know what? This is happening now. Always ready. Good area. Have a job for me. Can't build this. Locked in. Still Frickin'. Ruffle my feathers, will ya? Consider my feathers ruffled. Good area. Yeah, I lost a plane. Yeah, just get in there. Why not? Okay, I've, I've been doing enough gabbing, now it's actually time to be offensive. Once I get those... Okay, those guys are off. Two and three. Nope. Nope. You're two. Two and three, there we go. In the sky, please. What the heck was that? Whatever, I smoked them. Don't care. Okay. I really need those Gatling tanks out of here so I can start picking apart their defenses. Yes, sir. Nav system set. On your oh, those are my Sheridans. What is hitting them? I'm either on crack or my eyes are starting to go. Hey, guess what? You don't get that anymore. Uh, I can't attack the... De did you see that? My freaking cursor was wrong. Okay. Hypersonic, supersonic. Call what you want. I'll call it awesome. First up. Do we shut down their defenses? Or Okay, that's, that's what I don't know. What is that? Little EMP bombers. That's adorable. That's freaking adorable. Guess what? You don't get to use those anymore. That goes. That goes. And your whole army goes away. That was worth it. That made me feel so much better. It's like therapy, but I'm using bombs. This, this, and... Uh... Yeah, that. Okay, let's do this again, shall we? Should be able to pick off these defensive structures, no problem. Yeah, which we did. As long as I can target the stupid... Wow. It explodes, like, pretty. Okay. In the sky, time to fly. Um, hey. You wanna... Thanks. Oh, no way! <laughs> it's almost comical how poorly I'm trying to do what's going on here, because there's so much stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, our base is under attack. Okay, everyone up. Oh, nope, nope. Stupid mouse. 
You guys have stealth. I think I can trust you guys right there. On your command. Clearing here. They won't get a lock. No restrictions. Every target. We're going in. Select target. Let's take care of this nuke, shall we? Select target. Select target. Enemy target. Select target. American attack policy consists of what? Answer everything I can throw at you is what I'm going to throw at you. Get it, get it, get it. Yes! Oh no, it launched! Ah! Freaking. I can't wait to see what that hits. No, my airport! Wanna make some improvements? Let's build. Gunship reporting in. Made in the US of May. Um. I'm gonna murder their faces. And then probably their heads or something. Oh, did I not put you guys in guard mode? Seriously? Yeah, get get the nuke thing, please. Okay, infantry first. Nuke thing next. Holy crap, the AI is bringing the heat, yo. Okay. If you had to put an adjective to the way I'm feeling at the moment, it's not thrilled. But that's okay. The biggest thing is, this is what learning the game is about. And like I said, it's really like learning the game again. There's enough different stuff that if you want to be effective, you really have to know what kind of an army you're dealing with. Not only what you're up against, but what you also have at your own disposal on the battlefield. At the currently stands, I've got the advantage. I'm not worried. This isn't a I'm gonna lose situation. This is I'm going to show them what ancient history is because I'm going to bomb their faces back into the Stone Age. That's what this is now about. It's no longer about territory or money. This is about honor and blowing your asses back to the Stone Age. <laughs> I'm working on my evil laugh. You like it? I thought it was good. Look at that. That's Air Force General Power right there. All that stuff floating in space in the sky, ready to be vindictive and stuff. Yeah. And China has their own helicopters. Why not? They had the helixes before. I don't get what the deal with all that is. Either way, where's the sweet underbelly of this army? Hmm. Power, obviously. I don't want to really resolve this whole thing just with my particle uplinks. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of ECM tanks. Gone. I just want to soften them up a bit. Ooh! I hit some mines, son. Yeah, the clicking, the clicking thing has been clearly fixed. Okay. I don't have my auroras. I don't have a lot of things anymore. The game has changed, and I have lost my patience. Here we go. Hypersonic, Super Mega, Ultra, Aurora, Happy Fun Time Bomber. They have so many freaking Gatling things. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, over here. Get him. Thanks. Oh, I thought that would be enough. There we go, thanks. What's all what's all that? A napalm strike? Adorable. Particle cannon activated. Uh the question is, can you put two pilots in one plane? The answer is no. The way the pilots operate is a form of veteranacy. So if a pilot is ejected from an aircraft, they'll be whatever veteranacy the vehicle was. So in this case we have one rank. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not an army guy. I don't know what that stands for. Like, first private lieutenant something? Um, if this vehicle is destroyed, a pilot will come out. He will be one rank. I can put that pilot in a one rank or a no rank vehicle, and it'll translate. So it's like that pilot is now driving that vehicle. That's how that really works. 
locked. Yeah, if they, if they didn't have so much Gatling, I could do something about some of that stuff. But let's see our Auroras. See, that's the problem. One made it, one didn't. All because of how they loop out. There's that. There's that. There's that. I just need to punch enough of a hole so I can actually get in and do some damage. Perfect. Stealth in the air. We can punch out the rest of those Gatlings. Two and three. The key is to send all of your aircraft at the same time. The countermeasures will help each other. One of the things I used to do is I used to send in my King Raptors with the rest of my bombing strike. Because the King Raptors are... I can't finish a thought. I can't even finish a thought. You guys are going to mess with me like that, huh? That's fine. I know you have a nuke. You know I'm not going to let you use it, right? Because <clears throat> I'm not. What was I even saying? Oh, if you add the King Raptors to your regular airstrike, the benefit is their countermeasures will help because they have some excellent countermeasures. The King Raptors. Absolutely, hands down, best countermeasures of the units. So the cool thing about that is they'll actually assist... In, oh, do I have the Bunker Buster tech? I do. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. See? Little to no countermeasures. That was a painful lesson, but I thought it was something that was worth teaching. Cluster bombs and all this crazy stuff, and you think you're a really funny guy, but you didn't realize what I was building. I was building my temper tantrum force, which is a crap ton of helicopters. Oh, let's see. Let's do this. And... Particle? Hello? It's either EMP or I'm offline, and I'm not offline. <clears throat> well, I guess... I guess technically with the EMP I am offline, aren't I? Oh, man, I'm doing such a poor job. I see little to no AA. This is going to be a lot of fun. Stop. Power. I now see a lot of AA, but we're going to take care of something real quick before that timer dies. Yeah, that's what I thought. No nuke for you. This goes away. This goes away. That's their little cash hole. I really didn't want this to be all particle cannons, but I'm finding myself to be a little bit clumsy when it comes to the Air Force General. And I used to be pretty good with them, but the thing is it requires a little too much coordination. And again, going up against China is just a real pain. Those advanced Patriots are pretty solid against infantry. Yeah, the King Raptors, not so much. That's a known issue, is if you're moving infantry, forget it. Oh, I forgot completely about you guys. Oh, that actually made me want to figure out that little riddle. Uh, traditionally, the United States Air Force General doesn't... Did they just... Frickin'... And I'm missing an infantry. Apparently those are neutron mines that those vehicles, or those aircraft drop. Oh, anyway, the Air Force General does not get tanks, but I'm getting Sheridans. Sheridans are a tank. I think World War II? Maybe I'm thinking Sherman tank? Um, oh, no, you get the Sheridan tank. Hurricane. Oh, wow. Avenger? That's a different looking Avenger. What is this? Sheridan anti-tank rocket? Yep, Humvees with tow missiles. That's normal. What is, what is this beautiful thing? 1750. Ouch. Go up. Yeah. Job. Ready for okay. Smooth Everyone smooth in the smooth. skies. Undetectable. We're going Ready in. for covert mission. Aurora.
perfect. Just enough countermeasures to do the job. It gets even more dangerous if you just send just like one plane, and again that kind of proves the example. Is you want to make sure you're sending off enough stuff, and not just for sheer firepower, but also for the actual uh, countermeasures. And yes, I completely forgot about the mother of all bombs. Thank you. Comanche here. What's the star rate? Ballistics. War Machine said, what about the Moab? He could have also said, what about the Moab, you noob? And I would not have taken offense. See, now this is interesting. I blew up that airport a while ago, and these planes just keep circling. Our base is under attack. Back in jet... Serious? Serious? I can't even win in peace of... Oh! Alright. Alright. Where is it? Where is it? That's done. Hope you enjoyed having a base, jerk face. You're done. Send everything. Do they have power? Yeah. Son of a gun, they do. Okay, so here's the example. I have a pilot here of one rank. I have a plane here of one rank. If I put the one in one, it adds up. That's two. That's how that works. At least that's how it works with this mob mod pack. That could be completely different for something else, so don't hold me accountable. I will deny it completely. Oh, that got messy. Where's the rest of my planes? Oh, you're late! Don't go up! You see, this is why I'm not an Air Force General. Plain and simple. <laughs> this has been embarrassing, but it, it has been fun with the particles. Select target. Yeah, those planes are still in the freaking sky. Now, in general, zero hour, the, like the second the plane realizes the airport is done, I mean, they just fall out of the sky. Like I've had zero luck with any aircraft at all trying to have it stick around or stay alive, like at all. Yeah. Okay. So I did. I did genuinely want to test these things before. It all goes kablooey. So let's see, what else do we have here? Do we have anything? They are out of power, so that's fantastic. Um, how good are you against vehicles? Okay. Oh, it's a cluster bomb, which we knew, but... The problem is it doesn't act like the tomahawk. What the tomahawk does is it actually funnels down. Yep. Still incredibly ineffective against... Gatling tanks. However, a billion trillion Comanches is a completely different story. <laughs> Eat it. Okay. My base is in shambles. That's more dishonor than anything. Anyway, I'm quite confident they're out of power, but let's be really sure about the situation, shall we? N nothing says I'm confident in what's about to happen like a mother of all bombs. I mean, if it's not a super weapon, it's definitely a mother of all bombs. Dunk! History lesson? That is dropped by the B-2 Spirit Bomber. I don't know if that's actually mentioned. Is it? Allows you to carpet bomb. That's the B-2 Spirit Bomber. Uh, which, another trivia fact, is actually also in active, active aggression. Yes, the new game by Eugen Studios, which I cannot wait to play more of. I think they did an amazing job with it. Hey. No. Perfect. No, 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 no. No, I didn't I didn't say take off. I need to talk to the pilot. Get back here. Designation set. Friggin' an army that doesn't listen, aircraft that shows up late to the party. I don't know what to do with you guys. Now this is where this gets complicated. Oh, hey, is that another one? No, it's the same guy. Here's where this gets problematic. When you have a lot of planes, I want to make this a coordinated strike. So now what I've done is I've put them all in call numbers, but I mean Try to coordinate this. It gets a little complicated. Bunker Buster Bombers, go. Stealth Fighters will destroy infantry inside. Done deal. Just like that. 
Stealth fighter, finish off that dozer. He's now repairing a civilian structure with no one in it. Thank you. Supersonic Supersonics, over here. Okay, they gotta get back in the sky. One, two, three, and four. Out of power. We lost one. No! 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 I died. Dang it. Select target. Cluster bomb. Smooth and slow every time. Okay, I think the temper tantrum force can now be <laughs> fully, fully used. Yeah, they are out of power. <clears throat> now, the important thing here is we don't want to attack their defensive structures because it's going to free up power. So we're just going to do this. My dudes are stealth. That's the only way that worked. That would not have worked if we just went in guns blazing. It would have gotten us well before we showed up. This tactic reminds me of a friend of mine, Ashley. He uses Zocom from Command & Conquer 3, and he is a machine as Zocom. He uses a vehicle for GDI known as the Hammerhead. It is a pain in the butt to deal with. At hands down, a pain in the butt. But the benefit is, you can run in, and just like he's done in the past against me, you run in, you deal a crap ton of damage. If you don't think you're going to win, you can retreat. That is an option. They move quickly enough. However, you should be able to just annihilate everything. No, no, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here! I'm not done ion cannoning you! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Get yes! Is that structure still alive? Yeah, it is. Doggone it. <laughs> oh, go! Go plane! Oh, I thought I was going to ion my own plane. I keep calling them ion cannons, because guess what? I'm a GDI boy, and that's what I'm going to call them until I'm probably dead. Anyway, we lost one bomber in that run. They lost way more cash. That's really the idea of the Air Force General, is you want the enemy to be accosted far more than you're paying in aircraft and weaponry. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not skilled enough to do it well. So let's see. One, two, three, and four. Up, four. Time it all right. Their munitions should dr go, 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 go. I'm never thrilled with those countermeasures, how they work with those bombers. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, if you send all your units at once, hopefully, like I said, the countermeasures should all act at the same time. That'll take care of that, no problem. What do they even have left? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. D damage report. <laughs> I was clumsy. Yes. Did I get nuked? Yes. With with a negative second to spare, I didn't do it quickly enough. I got nuked. Point is, we had fun. I learned a lot about the Air Force General and how that works. Um, again, units lost, units destroyed. Um, three to actually, it's three to one exactly. Three times one twenty-five. Guess what? Three seventy-five. I did the math for you. Happy birthday. And. <laughs> And I'm just getting silly, it's late. Anyway, not too bad, good match, I liked it, learned a lot. The Air Force General is an amazing general to go, especially against, when the AI doesn't have to think or find the units. Uh, nine times out of ten, I have such a hard time with the Air Force General, because when I'm not paying attention or I'm building like a mini base, absolutely pain in the butt. I, I don't know if I... Don't put me on record. I'd almost want to go up against the Super Weapon General rather than the Air Force General. Uh, anyway, that's going to conclude for this uh, recording and broadcasting session. I want to thank every one of you for showing up. I hope I got to all the questions and feedback and such. Um, if I didn't, I do apologize. I'm just trying to figure this all out. But either way, thanks much, and I'm going to catch you guys next time.